These throttle controller units will supercharge your electronic throttle. Hey everyone, Pat from Aeroflow Performance, and today I'm going to tell you about the electronic throttle controller uh, that we've just added to the market. Now, uh, a lot of you are probably aware that majority of vehicles these days that are coming out of uh, manufacturers and off the production line have an electronic throttle uh, on them. So the pedal uh, sends an electronic signal to the throttle blade, and that opens rather than the traditional cable style, which pulls on the throttle, co uh, the throttle blade to open it, and that's connected to your accelerator pedal in the car. So the reason for this is a lot of technological advancements, um, so traction control and stability control systems utilise that. They close the throttle when there's you know, a loss of traction or you know, it allows a, uh, a smoother transition between you know, off and on effectively. Uh, and also as manufacturers have built in you know, different power modes, sports mode, things like that into it, they change the um, responsiveness of the throttle as well. So what we're basically doing here is we're creating a plug-in version of those different modes uh, that your, your, your higher end uh, advanced models might have. It's quite common on some of the early vehicles that adopted electronic throttles uh, that the response seemed very slow um, or you know the transition from cable to electronic throttle was quite difficult to pe for people to get their head around because it's not as snappy and so definitely some of the earlier models the motors weren't advanced the the mapping from the pedal to the uh, to, to the throttle body wasn't advanced so basically this little box effectively plugs in to your throttle pedal or your your accelerator pedal and then the adapter loom goes into the engine harness or the the main harness for uh, your vehicle and it intercepts the signal between the throttle body and the pedal uh, and it can either advance or retard the uh, the action of that throttle so you can make it faster or slower depending on what you what your demand is so this is the little base module uh, the little controller here has your mode setting this is an LED screen on the front here which will tell you the level and the mode that you're in there's three modes, uh, an eco, a normal, and a performance mode. And you can adjust each one to give you three different settings. So just like in some cars where they've got that little mode changing button on there, this will allow you to do the same thing. The eco mode is going to give you a much smoother and more deliberate throttle opening. So that will make your car a lot smoother around, uh, around town. Or it can also be used uh, off-road, where if you've got a low traction system, or low traction uh, situation. If you are too rough on the th on the throttle, it can create you know jerkiness and the car sort of accelerating and decelerating. You might lose traction really quickly when you don't want to. You can actually use this to slow down the application of the throttle, so that you'll have a much more steady power delivery as you're climbing a hill, for example, or going over rough terrain. The normal setting is going to allow you to set up your everyday driving mode. So. If you, you know, you're not racing everywhere when you're driving to work, but you just want your car to be a little bit more responsive um, in traffic, the normal one, you can put it on, say, like a medium setting. You know, it's one to nine for the settings. So if your eco is on one, uh, your normal is, you know, it could be five, uh, which will make it a little bit snappier, but not too aggressive. Um, so you still have a nice smooth operation in regular traffic. Then, of course, you've got the performance mode, which you know, you're looking for ultimate response from the throttle body, uh, maximum delivery of torque, at uh, low RPM. The performance mode is, that's what's gonna give you that, uh, that operation. So you can put that all the way onto nine or eight or whatever it is. How you link these up, you basically, you purchase this original, the, the control unit box, uh, which is this guy right here. And then we have basically a spreadsheet or a guide for the adapter looms, or the adapter harnesses. This is gonna plug into the back of the box. And then the individual looms have these plugs that suit your vehicle. Now there's a lot of vehicles out there that run the same plug. So you might find that we've got, uh, I think there's 13 different plugs just off the top of my head. 
uh, and that will suit almost every car on the market, definitely in Australia and many more around the world. So you just basically have to figure out which loom you have. Uh, we do have a listing on the website as well, so you can check that out to find which it is. But please remember, you do need to buy the electronic throttle controller unit, so this box and this unit, and then your adapter harness separately. In addition to those three driving modes, we also have a feature on this controller that is an anti-theft device. So basically you can set this uh, before you turn your vehicle off to uh, the anti-theft mode and it disables the throttle. So if someone does perhaps try and take your vehicle or steal your vehicle, uh, the throttle won't be responsive. So they'll try and drive away and there's no response. So that's just another little cool feature that you can perhaps, if you're mounting this, you've got quite a bit of cable here, so you can mount it wherever you like. You can mount that perhaps in the glove box or you know, under the dash somewhere so it's not quite as obvious. When you've got that mode activated, it adds for uh, another bit of security for your vehicle. A couple of things that we should cover uh, when we're talking about responsible use of this, uh, this item. This will open your throttle faster, uh, it will open the throttle earlier in the RPM range and as a result it can increase the amount of load on the rest of the drivetrain, so your gearbox, your differential and things like that. It can deliver a lot more torque than what, say, perhaps the gearbox is expecting. So if you're planning on towing a vehicle um, while using one of these, please remember that it's probably not the best idea to put it on the highest performance setting, which is going to give you full demand of the engine at low RPM when you've got an, you know, an excessive amount of weight on the back of the vehicle. It's not ideal for the whole combination. So like everything, just a little bit of common sense, a little bit of figuring out, um, you know, adjust the settings, see how it goes, see what is happy for your vehicle and the way that you drive, and you'll get a great result. I absolutely promise you that. So uh, by all means, an excellent product to wake up that vehicle of yours that's got an electronic throttle on it, um, and the simplest, simplest install, two plugs, plug straight in, no cutting, no modifying, it's ready to go. You can see these electronic throttle controllers at your local distributor, the quality retail outlet, or jump online at aeroflowperformance.com. <laughs>